here for Main Event Comedy. We're here at the Main Event Comedy Championship in Anniston, Alabama, at the Happy Hour Comedy Club, and I'm here with one of the 12 competitors who's competing tonight for the championship. It's the one and only Wes Sears. Wes, there's going to be some stiff competition tonight. Like I say, 11 other competitors. There's men. There's women. There's, we're not going to label them. There may be some that don't want to say, and we won't say. It's up to them. What so you got in store for these people here tonight? So, Gene, I've been looking at our advertisements. I've been looking at all the names, and they're great names. There's some great comedians coming up here tonight. But I got something to prove. I went all the way to Emory, Mississippi, had some horrible barbecue. But I also came. Went for a year. Wasn't free. But I didn't have to pay. Um, okay. For the ticket. My thing is this I got something to prove. And I got something to prove not only for me, but I got three other guys I'm thinking about the main event comedy. I'm representing Main Event Comedy tonight, and I, I'm, I'm destined to make a point, baby. Woo! There you have it, Wes Sears. He's here tonight. He's representing Main Event Comedy, and he's thinking of three guys while he's doing it. Let's go. And we're down to two, the final two. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and bring up Mr. Wes Sears. One more time, this ain't Gene Jackson's grandmother's funeral. I said, how we doing? Woo! There we go. There we go. You guys are looking great tonight. I'm seeing some new faces. That's a nice one. I'm seeing some new faces here. I'm seeing faces I'm familiar with. For my personal life. Over, over years, over a few years. And I'm glad you're here because my birthday was two weeks ago. Where the fuck was my happy birthday? We have Facebooks. You ever see that notification from Facebook? It's like, it's blah, blah, blah's birthday. You got the notification! You could just put happy birthday, you know? It's okay, it's okay. You know, I haven't been a happy hour in a long time. It's, it's been a minute, it's been a minute. I've been busy. I was looking for Carly uh, Russell. Um, oh no. We found her! Or did we? Or did we? It's been a weird year. It's been a weird year, 2023. And especially in Alabama, you know? The Carly Russell thing. I'm surprised no one's talked about it, but the Montgomery Battle Royal that took place on the docks. Right? Here's the thing, you know, you know and, and they tried that in a small town, by the way. Uh, so, it goes down and it goes down and, and, and you know, it was, I'm so glad someone stood up for that security guard. I'm so glad, you know, he's getting jumped. They, you know, they come in, they, you know, defend him. That's so awesome. We need to talk, we need to get the elephant out of the room. We do. Black people can swim. Did you see that black guy jump in the water and paddle his way? Dude, he was in a full outfit. He had a cell phone, an Apple Watch. That motherfucker's there. So good wet. What's up, bitch? You know, I'm like, God damn. God damn. But another thing in 2023, and yet again, we're still not past it. We're not past it yet. COVID is creeping in the door going, you remember me? I'm still here, bitch. You know? And I was very disappointed in COVID. By the way, I am 2 and 0 with COVID. I got excited when I hear it myself. I am 2-0 against COVID. I'm undefeated. I am disappointed in COVID. I am. I think it should have took more people out. Now hear me out. <laughs> Guys, we have a list. We all have a list, you know? And if that person were to die, we're like, okay. That's what COVID was supposed to do. Help us get the list knocked out, right? I guess not, it's okay. It's okay. 
You know, I felt like this, by the way, I'm so glad you guys are here. This, this next joke might get me canceled. So, you paid $15 to see my last show. I appreciate it. As a kid, I always grew up with this, with this, you know, braising and teaching period with my parents. More my mom, but you know, you treat everybody the same. We're all the same. Doesn't matter gender, doesn't matter race, right? We're all the same, we do everything the same. And the older I get, I'm like, eh! Y'all want an example? I guess you don't, okay, that's fine. Here's an example I have. And it's something that's, that's never been mentioned. Or Let's compare white people and black people for a second. Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, shit! We're split. Get him out of here. Uh, no, it's not fair to say we do things the same because we don't. We don't. White people, here's one thing that we have that is completely different. It's the way we deal with it. It's the way we do it. When we lose a loved one, we lose somebody in our life. They pass away. White people, and I'm right there, and I'm like, yeah. White people, when we lose somebody, we put it on the back of our vehicle. We miss you, Tommy. In loving memory of Tommy, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't like staying at a red light and I'm behind them. We miss you, Tommy, because I'm like, God damn it, we lost Tommy. I don't even know Tommy. I'm like, not Tommy. No! You know? Here's the thing, and it, this is why I'm so fucked up. I kind of want to like get out of my car at the red light and I knock on the window just like, hey, Tommy's alive! <laughs> no, no, he's, he lives in Florida! He does! I saw him! No, it's not on the back of No, I know Tommy. Like, I want to fuck with him so bad. Now here comes the controversial part. Okay, so, this is how... And I love it. I wish we would do it as white people. I really do. Black people make t-shirts. They, they do. It's a white shirt. It's in a huge font of the person who's passed. And it says something like Mission Antoine. You know, like, here's the thing. They're adding to their wardrobe. That's an extra shirt on a random Tuesday. Thursdays. You were close. T's, W's, and it's confusing. So I always make this joke. I always make this joke. You know, I always thought my dad was Jesus because I haven't, he hasn't came back yet. Um, but fun fact, I was at the beach last week and he actually messaged me on Facebook. That's some true shit. He did. Messaged me on Facebook. And here's something about Facebook going back to it. It's amazing. In, in, two, in 2010, I've, I've had the same Facebook account. Do we know anybody who has like 15 Facebook accounts? Oh, and like every two weeks they send you a Facebook request. Like, I want to be your friend. We're already friends. Oh, I forgot the password. Well, what the fuck you doing? You know? What are you doing? So, so my dad, he, he has like 12 Facebook accounts. He really does. I swear to God. His name is Roy Sears. So when I go to my friend request, I do it every often. It's like... Nine out of the 12 requests I have, it's my dad's new Facebook account. So it's like, Roy Sears, profile picture. Roy Sears, profile picture. Roy Sears, I don't have a profile picture. Roy Sears, you know, keeps going. Do you want to know what account he actually messaged me on? Keep in mind, his name is Roy Sears. It was Rowan Sears. Rowan. And I was like, that don't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. You know, I mean, I guess it was high, I don't know. And then I thought about it, you know, I thought about it. Maybe his name was Rowley because he rolled out of my life a long time ago. <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna fucking go with it. My name is Rowley. And his middle name is Poley. And it's serious. <laughs> he goes by RP. He goes by RP. But you know what's really funny to me? I haven't seen my dad in maybe Shit, I was, I was set. Oh no, I was probably 14. It's been, it's been, it's been some years. I'm, I'm 29. You know what I mean? I'm 29. Um, what's amazing to me, he's the first person who told me happy birthday, you motherfuckers. <laughs> it 
was healed at 5.32 in the morning. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen.